Hello Aquarius, welcome to your end of March 2021 general love read. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull an oracle card to see what you may need to wrap up and let go of from the winter time and so you can start fresh for the spring. All right. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If I decide to do an extended, that link will be down below with my website as well if you'd like a personal read. And I go live on Wednesdays now at 7, and every other Thursday I may pop into my sister's channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot, so you can check that out. And I'm thinking about doing daily um, sign reads live, because I prefer live. It's just I can't always stick to a schedule, so that's why I do these pre-records, um, so I at least get these out in case I can't jump on live, but I have more fun live. All right, guys, we have ghosts of the past. Okay, Leo got this as well. The past returns for a time. So what that means, okay, is, first of all, it doesn't mean that you have to accept the past. doesn't mean that you have to take them back in. Um, doesn't mean you even have to talk to them. It could be just also memories and ghosts of the past, things that triggered, triggered you that you haven't healed from yet, okay? But these are things that are going to come back up before you start fresh in, into the spring. So just be aware of that, okay? Um, and it might only be for a short period of time too. It could be warning you. This could be a warning for some of you that if you are waiting for somebody to come back and um, you know they they keep coming in and out and they're wishy washy, there's a possibility that they're going to do this again, okay? And it might be time to end that cut ties with this person um, until they grow or heal and and move on. Let's see what Alice has for you. These cards do not want to. Shuffle. What does Alice have for my Aquarians? One of my favorite signs. I love you guys. All right. Your reads sometimes take me all over the place. This is, I just, I started one and I just started over. I was like, this is going too deep. Too deep. Sometimes you guys take me down a rabbit hole and I love you for it, but sometimes I can't figure it out and I, I'll pull everything I can. <laughs> Growing up, waiting, wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth, okay? So that might be why this past is returning for a time so that you, the triggers and the things that you've shoved under the rug need to come up and heal so that you can grow. You can't stay stuck in a situation. If you want to evolve, you have to heal these things and move forward, okay? So that is that, my friends. Let me see. We're going to look at who's this person coming back. Let's see what these oracles say. And then we're going to look at what's going on. What, what's this past stuff? Leo had a lot of, because I guess I sent, set the intention to like sort of clean out the closet before we move into spring. The reads have been coming up very, um, um, in, in, into like they're for, um, your mental, your mind. I can't even speak. It's not an actual person. It's a lot of um, stuff going on in your head. That's where I was going with that. All right. Let's do this. All right. So in the past, the dark night of the soul. So there could have been some sort of depression. Somebody went through the dark night of the soul, which is shedding of the ego. Um, somebody wanting to... Um, I mean, not expecting this. Maybe somebody triggered this in you, a relationship, okay? And um, this could be this person that's coming back around. Maybe there's some things that need to be healed with this situation so that you can continue to grow. So in, during the dark night of the soul, you're shedding your old self, your old e you know, your egos, things you once thought. And um, you're also healing a lot of um, inner and doing a lot of inner child work, shadow work, things like that. And you're seeing people completely different, okay? And so currently you're healing. So this makes sense now. So you're trying to grow and you're wanting to ex to, to grow and experience. And, um, and because you may be asking, this happened to, to me. <laughs> the dark night of the soul came out of nowhere for me. Um, I mean, I, I've been through two now, now that I, in hindsight, I can tell, but the second one, I realized what it was. I had been asking for clarity. I had been asking for, um, my, my intuition and all my, you know, my knowing and my clear, clear sentience, um, clairvoyance. I was asking to see the truth. 
I wanted to see, wanted to heal, wanted to see. And man, that hit me hard. My higher self was like, you know, God was like, oh, you want this? Here you go. And it hits hard. And then you start to see everything falling apart in your life. And you're wondering why everything's falling apart. But it's because you're seeing the truth. You're seeing everything shed away and you're seeing the truth. And when I finally took a step back and went, this isn't me going crazy. I'm seeing everybody for who they are. And I'm seeing things differently. And I just have a whole new perspective. And I feel like that's where you're at right now. You're healing. Okay, for some of you who understand the depths of the dark night of the soul, if you don't go that deep, and this is just a depression over a breakup, of, and it's not just, I don't like the word just, if this is a serious depression from a breakup in the past, okay, you're healing from it currently, okay, but there's things that need to be learned so that you don't repeat the pattern, repeat the cycle, and that's why I feel like if there's some ghost coming up for you, um, whether it's just, whether it's, I'm going to stop saying just because these are important things. If if it's weighing heavy on your subconscious, then they need to be um, brought up and they need to be um, made aware of and then let them go, let them heal and um, let them go. Okay. If this is an actual person that triggers things in you, then they're coming back in and they're going to trigger things in you um, during this healing, healing um, current energy. Okay, because that's how you evolve and move forward. Okay, so we have purge. Look at this purging, and this is the near the near future. You're going into spring. You're doing all this purging, just exactly what I asked. This is why I love Aquarian Aquarius readings. Okay, your readings really do go deep and go all over the place, and sometimes into areas that I'm not even 100% sure what I'm saying. You know, I'm just it's coming out, and. So I feel like this will resonate with a lot of you. Um, you really are going through some sort of purge. You're clearing out your closet and you're making room for only what you want. Okay. This whole new white canvas here moving into the spring, brand new canvas. You know, you shed all this old stuff and now you want to bring in the good stuff, bring in the new, bring in the you know, what's valuable to you, what's real. Okay. And regarding life to life in general, I'm not just relationships, friendships, even family, you know, um, your purpose, things like that. Okay. And that's so that's pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool guys. All right. Now here we go into tarot and I'm going to see where you're at. Okay. Individually. Um, this may only resonate with some of you as well too, but this is where sometimes you take me down a rabbit hole. All right. So I'm going to ask spirit to be very clear for my Aquarians. Please be very clear for the Aquarians that resonate with this read. Okay. Let's see their situation. Show me where my Aquarians are at. Show me their obstacle and show me their outcome. Okay. Um, let's be very, very precise and clear. All right, let me get one more shuffle for my Aquarians. All right, look at that divine masculine overall energy. So this is all about um, creating peace and planning and taking action, moving towards the future. Okay, I like that. That's sort of like what I just said about the purge and all this stuff so that you can um, devise, um, create a plan, create a new plan for your life. All right, old wounds. Here you are. This is you coming up old wounds. So this is the um, the ghosts of the past. So there's some things that you may have shoved under the rug, Aquarians. And as you're going through this healing process and you're trying to evolve, they're coming up. They're coming up. And it could be pretty rough for you um, moving in just before we get into spring here. Or they could this could be happening to you now, you know. All right, the obstacle here is manifest a mad magician. Okay, are some of you trying to manifest um, somebody or or a new life or something in? Maybe you're trying to learn how to manifest, how to use your mind to create. All right, this could be some of you. It's really awesome. It could be a Gemini you're connecting with. It could be somebody that you've manifested back in. Have you manifested somebody back in? You know, this is who resonate. Take it how it is. All right, the foundation here is the five of pentacles, somebody coming back around, All right? Somebody who may have abandoned you in the past, left you out in the cold. In the recent past, we have the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, so dissatisfaction, um, somebody, um, it, somebody 
somebody hurt your feelings and somebody didn't choose you. You weren't, and, and it's not your desired outcome here. It's the clearest way to say that. Um, so something happened here that was not what you wanted. Let's clarify that real quick. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, something stopped. A relationship, a situation just stopped. Maybe unexpectedly. Um, or maybe, you you know, you could have seen it come in, but it just stopped. All right. Could have been with um, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I do have a lot of Earth here with the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. And, um, but I do have water here too with the, a lot of water energy, okay? And I got gem have Gemini. So the crown and energy here is restraint, it's strength, it's healing. It's this, it's this healing energy you're in. You're healing from all this, okay? It's clear. You're in this great healing energy. All right. Something just maybe have stopped abruptly. And then we have the near future. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Here you are just, this could be just you just contemplating, looking for, you know, that clear canvas I was talking about. This is you like purging, walking away, um, or just clearing out. The, I call it clearing out your mental closet, you know, just, and you're learning how to manifest. So you're creating a whole new, um, maybe self-concept. Um, maybe you're working on a mental diet. Maybe you, you know what I'm talking about. And if some of you really do resonate with this. You know, this is you really um, figuring out the truth and how to really create from within, okay? Because this is really, this is deep thought. This is you in deep thought. Could be another um, air sign coming in for you too. We have Gemini here. So there could be an, there could be communication with, with an air sign, okay, coming in. And I'll get a clarifier for that. What should you, um, what should you do? Well, what should you know? This is a wise investment, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. That's a this is a new beginning. This is springtime to me, even though um Ace of Pentacles is more like Virgo, um oh Taurus energy too. T Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So yeah, Taurus season. Um after Aries. So you could have a new beginning here communication with somebody coming in and a new beginning and this is going to be a fresh start after purging all this past this past maybe this person can't come in for you until you purge could be a leo leo coming in for you too but until you purge this past person this this new beginning somebody who a king of swords who's a who's a wise investment investment can't come in until you purge this past situation all right and then we have the empress card taurus energy okay this is, so you have look at this this could be a twin flame connection you had the overall energy of the emperor wanting to there's that clear path that canvas wanting to have the real deal the real deep connection have everything that you want all your desires right and then you have the empress card what you should know is this is new love okay it could be with the taurus but this is new love coming in a, a unconditional love too. some somebody that's going to nurture something this is a wise investment okay and i'm feeling like you know it may happen more around the around taurus season okay and um what are your blocks hopes and fear or fears all right three of swords heartache so you're afraid to get hurt again you have every right to be you're purging right I've felt this before. I feel this now at times. I went through dark, second dark night of the soul and I went through all this healing and working on um, my old wounds. And we all still have many that we might not even know are there. You know, um, there's, it's always, a, we're always a work in progress. But um, as I became, as I've become more vulnerable and more whole and more open, I feel myself becoming also a little bit more, um, scared and um, afraid as well too like I want to I don't want to shut off anything but I'm also very protective and sort of afraid to get out there and step out because I'm vulnerable to the point where you know you I, I want true love so there's a possibility of another heartbreak but I made that choice when you make the choice to get over a heartbreak and you decide to love again and you cleanse it's pure you're coming back in and you know that this could be the outcome all right. It's kind of like joining the military. You know why you're really joining. Okay. It's not just for free, you know, tuition. All right. So you have a fear of, um, heartbreak again. 
All right, and then the outcome here, the Two of Pentacles, a balance and act, making a decision. All right, you, it doesn't show you making quite a decision. And you have the Two of Wands too, planning and decision. All right, so definitely with that Aries energy, the Emperor energy, okay? And you have the Twos here, union number, okay? Two of Pentacles and Two of Wands. So it's talking about really being in your head here, and making a decision and planning and it could be with this new person okay it definitely could be with this new person so i'm gonna you know that i look at it came out clear you have some new love coming in for you you just have to purge you're, you're working on purging this past situation okay and um it was clear this message was clear thank you spirit for my aquarians all right if you want i can take a i'll take a little bit i'll take a diver diver deep a deep dive into your person what i'll do is i'll look at your new person look at you look at mutual energies how you feel about this person possible challenges in this relationship and possible outcome in this relationship if you do decide remember nothing set in stone here there's a decision here is the outcome you have a decision to make and your you set your um, I mean, you create your future. You can change your, you know, whatever it is you want. You can create your future. All right. So that is your, um, that is your possible outcome. Make a decision to move forward with this person. All right. All right, guys. I love you guys. Hope this helped. Leave in the comments down below and take care.